am having to discuss this very serious matter with my lawyers and they've told me to say very little. Well, we all know that there's been a concerted campaign by disgruntled elements within the Parliamentary Labour Party that will simply not accept Jeremy Corbyn as their leader, despite him being elected on two occasions by more than 60% of the membership of this party. And they represent less than 1% of the party. Well, you'll see at the launch of the Chakrabarti report in, uh, on June the 30th, 2016, that we are chatting as old friends and comrades. I knew Jeremy before he was elected to Parliament when he was a new P, that's a trade union official, and he was talking to me about a text that he'd sent me. Okay? I wrote to Ruth Smith as a comrade uh, shortly after that incident, and in that letter, I said that I apologised if there was, you know, upset, um, if there was an, any uh, misunderstanding. Also, through a Member of Parliament who is a mutual friend, Stephen Twigg, she was contacted uh, with a view to mediation, to drawing a line under this. She is Jewish, I'm black. I think we should be working together. She refused that overture, and I'm very disappointed that she did so. I think that the Labour Party is reflective of society as a whole. There are people that use social media to, um, uh, they use tropes which are totally inappropriate and I don't support, uh, like conspiracy in the media and that sort of thing. That's not what I said, by the way, at the launch of the Chakrabarti report. I said that I saw this Labour MP working hand in hand with a particular journalist from a particular right-wing anti-Labour Party publication. Well, as I could understand it, because it kept changing, it was a moving feast. The first letter I got cancelling my membership summarily was based on an alleged verbal attack on a member of the Parliamentary Labour Party, which was uncomradely brought the party into disrepute and embarrassed the leader. Well, the leader has told uh, mutual friends he wasn't embarrassed because he doesn't see that I did anything wrong. When they called me on the first day of the hearing, they said to me that they'd been working behind the scenes, uh, that uh, what I said wasn't anti-Semitic. But then you have to interpose that um, with the fact that Jeremy uh, did uh, have a bit of a go at me at the launch of the Chakrabarti report and, and said that perhaps um, uh, I could have used, uh, you know, kinder language. So I, I think it has to be um, put in those terms. Well, I launched a crowdfunding campaign and it's raised thousands and thousands of pounds from Jewish people, from African Caribbeans, from Asians, uh, from Muslims, from people of faith and no faith. And the messages on that campaign page are fantastic. Uh, an elderly Jewish woman said um, that she was Jewish, she was appalled at the full South accusations, and please would I accept a donation from her as a token of her support. You know, anti-black racism seems to have been ignored. Rampant Islamophobia has been ignored. We heard about the Sikh who had his turban uh, torn off outside the Houses of Parliament. Women having their hijabs uh, torn off their faces. Where's the conversation about that? You know, we hear about Windrush, the Windrush generation, and now and again about youth on youth violence, and then it all subsides again. It seems to be very episodic, and that's just not good enough. And I think the black community are gonna rise up now. They're the Labour Party's most loyal supporters, and they're gonna say, we want something in return for our vote.